We'll start here. Can I ask you your view on the, uh, the catch the wicketkeeper took when you were naught? Were you happy that he claimed the catch? <laughs> uh, what can I say about that? I think he should have told that what happened. But I don't know what he was thinking at that time. keep hearing about responsibility, Mr. Um, how irresponsible do you think the uh, five of those batsmen were to hit? Yeah, I think it wasn't easy uh, in the start on this pitch to play. But I think after me and Nasser Jinjay got said, and that was really a good partnership, I think that shot played by Nasser, I think that really cost us. I think from there, from there it was really a game changer. Because at that stage, we were looking that it could have been easily 240, 230 on the cards. And looking at the surface, what I was just guessing that it's, it's a good total if you just cross 230 or uh, something like that. But I think we need to just uh, be responsible. Uh, anybody who gets set on these sort of conditions, he needs to just carry his own. Ms. Bright, just going back to the catch, would you have been happy if your wicketkeeper had claimed a catch under those circumstances when he quite clearly didn't hold the ball? I don't think so. I think uh, in the spirit of the game, we should just, if we know, if we don't know anything, uh, then it's fine. But if you know clearly that it's not a catch, you should not claim that because it's not in the spirit of the game. Ms. Ba, once again, uh, nearing your century, you missed that. What are your feelings? Because it's the only thing which you haven't got in your career, uh, one day international century. What was your feeling when Irfan got out? Uh, it's really uh, something special whenever you got a um, hundred, and especially when it's, it's your first hundred in any form, and it's really something you never forgot throughout your life. But uh, I think the more disappointing thing for us is to just lose this game. Uh, these uh, scores and centuries will come, but I'm really uh, we disappointed about what what uh, after losing this game. It wasn't an easy match for you, especially when it was overcast. But as a captain, what do you think? Three things should have happened for you to win the match. Three things. Uh, I think the first one, uh, it was really a big advantage if we would have won the toss and ball first. That could have been really a, a big advantage. And the other one, I think I've already told that partnership was really important. I think that shot from Nasser, that was, I, I think, really, really a match turner. And uh, Gail, the way he survived in, in the early overs of Irfan, those three things, I think, could have really made the difference. Uh, Mr. Wahab was preferred over Ehsan and um, uh, Asad today. Was that because of the way he played against Ireland, because he's batting? Because we saw on the tour earlier on that he was in the third choice team, where Ehsan and Asad were preferred. Was that because he was batting against Ireland? I think uh, uh, you've watched on um, this especially old wicket. You really got some serious pace and bounce. And if a guy, you know that he can bowl 150, is really handy. And he showed it against uh, South Africa and today even, the way he bowled, I think uh, that was something special. Just near around about, he was bowling 150 mark and really gave us good, good advantage. So that's why, and also, I think he's really uh, uh, something special down the order for our team. Uh, four tail enders, I think, really sometimes create a problem for you in the in in uh, later uh, overs. Uh, I think he's the he's the one who can really bat well with a batsman if somebody set. Unfortunately, today he got run out, but I think he gives a balance to the team.
that the idea of uh, going in with three regular openers, it's uh, it's not really working. So, any plans for the uh, for uh, change in betting order in the next game, <coughs> like maybe bringing Kamran as opener or uh, bringing another batsman down the order like Umar Ami? I think sometimes it doesn't work, but in the last game it works very good. So, uh, the, the games we Hafiz already got century uh, there in Ireland. So. It happens today. Uh, they got out, but it happens. I think it's uh, nothing to worry, nothing to panic. Uh, they are scoring runs. They are adjusting it well, but I think they need to be more, a little bit more responsible. Uh, Ms. Bart, what's it like for you uh, not having, not being able to play at home? Uh, you, you come here and play in front of a crowd like that, and uh, to what extent does that? Do you want to perform for a, a crowd that's right behind you? And uh, to what extent do, do you lift your game for that? Yeah, it is always like that. Whenever you are not uh, playing at home, uh, you feel for it. You really want to play at your own home grounds and in front of your own crowds. But I think uh, here, again, I, I would say there was a big spoke for Pakistan. Wherever you look in the crowd, everybody was just sporting parks, and it looks like that we are playing at home. So it's really nice to be uh, playing here in front of your own crowd, and it was really good to see that. What are the positive you are taking from this? Basically, in Birmingham, where it will be more of the Pakistan crowd, so how much of an advantage will it come through? I think. Uh, the biggest positive from this game was uh, our bowling. All the seamers bowled really well. Saeed Ajmal bowled well. All the bowlers, you can say, they were re they really bowled their heart out and take eight wickets. And one time we were really in the hunt. So it's really a big positive, and it just creates pressure on the opposition. Uh, they bowled really well against South Africa, and even today. So I think it gives confidence to the team and also to the batsmen uh, that. If they can go and just give them a good total, this uh, bowling attack can really win the matches for us. <coughs> it's about your own batting position now. You came in at number five today. Um, early wickets went down. Um, have you contemplated possibly moving yourself up the order to number four? I mean, it's too early. One after one game, you just can't uh, just change things here and there to just create panic in your camp. I think it, what we need to do as a batting unit, whatever plans are, how to execute the, uh, those plans, go there and try to play out 50 overs. And that's what, what normally, in <coughs> <coughs> sorry, in these sort of conditions you can do. Uh, today, even losing three wickets, I think, at one stage, <clears throat> at one stage the game was under control but then we again made mistakes so it's just taking responsibility and taking the games till end batsman needs to be more responsible and just carry on what, what is the lesson you are carrying from this match I think the lesson is very much clear especially for our batting side that if we can hang around if we can give a good total I mean 30, 40 more runs could have really made a difference. Even, even 15, 20 runs could have made the difference. So no, nothing to worry. Just go there, apply yourself, and try to get those extra 20, 30 runs. Uh, Ms. Bab, your fans are really dejected with the performance. <coughs> what message would you give to them? Does Pakistan really have a reliable chance of getting to the semifinals? I think it's, it's almost... Uh, now a knockout stage for us. Just go there and try to win every game. And it is possible. Pakistan did it so many times before. So just be positive as players, as, as supporters of Pakistan team. Go there and try to just play positive cricket and try to win every game. <coughs> Mr. 
इस बार कभी चैंपियंस ट्रॉफी नहीं जीती और इस बार सोच रहे थे कि पाकिस्तानी कुछ करेंगे पहले मैच में बैटिंग आपके कंधों पे कप्तानी आपकी कंधों पे तो क्या ये चैंपियंस ट्रॉफी आपका तो जोश लग रहा है उठाने का टीम का लग रहा है कि नहीं नहीं कुछ ऐसा होता है मैचेस में होता है लेकिन आई थिंक टीम को अब आगे का सोचना है इस मैच का नहीं सोचना मेरी एडवाइस और मेरी जो सबके लिए टीम में मैं यही कहूँगा कि जस्ट थिंक पॉजिटिव फ्यूचर देखें अगला मैच देखें क्या चीज़ें हम बेहतर कर सकते हैं और जिस चीज़ की परफॉर्मेंस जो जो गलती हमने की है नेक्स्ट टाइम कोशिश करें कि वो गलती नहीं करनी इसी तरह टीम में सीखती हैं और इसी तरह टीम में जीतती हैं वो अगर हम नेगेटिव सोचेंगे तो मेरे ख्याल में हमारे फिर जीतने का कोई चांस नहीं रहेगा तो बहुत ज़्यादा पॉजिटिव है इस मैच में भी थोड़ी सी अपनी परफॉर्मेंस को इम्प्रूव करना है थोड़ी रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी लेनी है और आप जीत सकते हैं आपने पिछले मैच में प्रूव किया साउथ अफ्रीका के गेंस कि यू आर अ गुड साइड आप किसी भी के, किसी भी टीम के गेंस जीत सकते हैं और आज भी इवन इस वर्स सिनेरियो में भी एक टाइम पे मैच फिफ्टी फिफ्टी हो गया था